safety blitz, that can be a gamble, but it proves fruitful there. Yeah, you're exactly right about the gamble because oftentimes the free safety is the last line of defense against a long pass. And when he comes at the quarterback, he better get home and make the play. Otherwise, a big play could result for the offense. So after the sack, Allen and the Bills with work to do on third and long. Looking to throw. Allen. He'll dump this off to Cook. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. That's going to bring up fourth down, only a gain of two there. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. Here's the punter, Martin, now to kick it away. And here's a fair catch taken at about the 24-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. Play fake. Here's Prescott. That is caught by Lamb. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. The two big plays right in succession as this one goes for 27. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways They've gotten their receivers open so far. It's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory. Down at the 31. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. And yeah, that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. Normally you think the tight end's gonna be able to catch the football and handle that contact, but in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well, incomplete. Third quarter, all tied up. This is second and 10. Prescott now. Touchdown! Three touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott. And the Cowboys have broken the tie. A nice connection there, finding his target, and that'll put six up on the board. Just like they drew it up in their playbook and reiterated it on the sidelines, right? Perfect route, a good throw in the defense. They had no answer for that right there. now for the PAT. And they will take a seven-point lead now. So that drive of four plays, and it's finished off by the touchdown from C.D. Lamb. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Back now on offense, the Buffalo Bills. 
And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, and they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Allen and the Bills now with a first and ten right at the 30. Throwing to start the drive. Allen. Oh, what a read on the outside as it's intercepted. Picked off by Malik Hooker. And it's a huge return as he brings this all the way back down to the 15-yard line. But when I looked down, he was kind of shaking his head right after he threw that pass. Uh, what did you see? Well, from a defense's perspective, anytime you have your eyes back towards the quarterback, you're in a position to make a play on the ball, whether it's a big-time play by you or an overthrow by the quarterback. You have a much better opportunity. From a star in college to a star in the NFL, C.D. Lamb at wide receivers. He brings out this offense. And I know that they've double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. Following the interception, here's Prescott. On the out route, it's Lamb with a grab. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 of the 12. The result, only four yards there on the play. And it'll be second down. To throw is Prescott. This is caught. And yeah, the Cowboys are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme and you can drop anyone. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Cowboys. <laughs> Ezekiel Elliott, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Cowboys get another third-quarter touchdown to add on to that lead. Sometimes offense can get too cute down near the goal line, but there's nothing fancy about this one. As Coach Lombardi would say, we get a seal here, and we get a seal here, and we run this play in the alley. And that's good work to hit the hole hard and finish in the end zone. Now the extra point up and good by Aubrey. And the lead now up to 14. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. And a pretty slick return there. Almost got it to the 45. Officially, they'll caught him down at the 44. Curtis Samuel and the rest of the offense heading back out there now. He's having a day here in quarter number three. Over 100 yards, couple touchdowns. Every receiver's hope for when they head into that game in the National Football League. And his team is loving what he's giving them. Of course, the yardage is terrific, but I think it's what you mentioned, the two touchdowns. That's the big one because he's paying off his results downfield. And still more time here, third quarter. We'll see what else he has in store for us. Bill's first down as he's got this up to the 45-yard line. Despite the score, despite the deficit, no quitting this guy. He's running angry, running through arm tackles. He wants to change what that scoreboard is saying. Flag comes in. This might be a free play. This is caught inside the... Across the chalk. Now there is a flag down, but I think that's offsides on the defense. Yeah, I think that's going to stand, Offside. partner. Defense. So obviously they will decline the penalty there, the penalty and the is result declined. is six points.
Tyler Bass now for the point after. And that'll cut the lead down now to a touchdown. The long touchdown pass gets him six on a very, very tidy two-play drive that time. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive. First down. As they began this drive, I was wondering how they were going to attack since they're playing with the lead. Would they continue to try and push the ball downfield? Well, after one play, it appears that the answer is yes. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. Now Prescott. Short pass taken in by Schoonmaker. And now a tip of the cap to the man under center, Charles. He just went over 400 yards passing in this ball game. He's got the touchdown passes to boot, taking pretty good care of the ball. Just all around a really solid performance. Yeah, just check, 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 and check, right? Because he certainly showed he was worthy of the trust that his team put in him. A handful of touchdowns to his credit thus far. Now he's just crossing off yardage behind the stones and winner lose. His name has to be in serious discussion for player of the game. And Zeke will have a Cowboys first down as he'll get this down to the 40. So both offenses come to life here in this third quarter as this is shaping up for a good finish. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Arlington. It's the Cowboys with the football. They'll be looking to tack onto their lead as we get set for the fourth. Play action now. Prescott. He'll fire deep downfield for Lamb. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. After what they faced during this game where they've given up a ton of yards downfield, that has to be a measure of revenge right there for the secondary. They've been shredded throughout the game and finally forced an incompletion. Here's second and ten. Throwing. Prescott. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Ferguson. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Play action to Elliott. Here's Prescott. Yeah. Able to find yeah. the open man. That's complete. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. But forget the run on third and one. They shock the D and rip off a pretty big play. Now that's a big pickup right there. And so often we focus on how the quarterback's faking on play action. How about everyone being in on the deal and picking it up? Second, third levels. You could see them trying to recover. They bit. Worked out offensively. Prescott to throw it. Into the body. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Now a second and ten. Oh. 
Running wide side, Elliott. Oh, he's so good. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott taking it in from 11 yards out. And the Cowboys have opened up a two touchdown lead here in this fourth quarter. You get in a second and long situation down here in the red zone. I'd say most defensive coaches would think pass. Let's bring some pressure. So this is kind of a tendency breaker here to hit him with something on the ground. And he'll take it all the way into the end zone. Aubrey now for the point after. And the lead is up to 14. So that drive in total eight plays. And it culminates in a touchdown run by Ezekiel Elliott. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. Allen. Open man is Samuel. Complete. Call it a gain of a yard. And that's going to bring up second down. Fourth quarter, every drive so critical. And you figure, may only get one more shot after this. So a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling. Don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You got the first one. And now off to the races. Down the right side. Samuel, 68 yards, and the Bills have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. So that's a really big play here in the fourth quarter, and don't look now. They're right back in this game. Did it feel to you, as it did to me, that maybe they were a little bit soft in what they were lining up with on defense? Almost like they were protecting the lead rather than trying to make a play. And now that lead is down to just one score. Allen will try to throw for it. And this one incomplete. So they went for it. I don't know about you, but I can't wait for a few years of two-point tries and see what the data tells us. Because a lot of teams want to throw the ball in this situation, this time unsuccessfully. I just wondered maybe running the ball might be the way to go. Would it moved up from the three to the two, you would think maybe a few more attempts at running. I, I think stats over time may bear out that running the ball will at least be the equal of throwing it in that situation. Yeah, they'll be set up pretty nicely here as they have it up to the 35-yard line. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and 10. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. If you can keep getting gains like that, Charles, with the lead here in the fourth quarter, I mean, keep running it, right? No doubt about it, but what the offense coordinator has to do is understand they're gonna continue to stack the line of scrimmage what runs do you have in your arsenal that'll work against a stacked box and continue to move the ball? 
Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. Well, that's a defense coordinator's got to be happy with that result. They took away all options downfield and forced the incompletion. The offense on third down. They've hit on six of their eight tries. Very good. This time they face a third and two. And yeah, this is not going to be enough. Was in search of two yards and only got halfway there. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I I'm like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. On to punt now. Anger as he boots this one away. And that'll hit in the end zone. Much too much leg there. That'll be a touchback. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And it feels like the momentum has shifted. They scored, then their defense forces that last punt. And now a chance to tie the game on this. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. Here's Allen. And he's got his receiver, Cooper. touchdown and the Bills have a chance to tie things up as they trail by two here in the fourth it's been quite the game for him individually a trio of touchdown catches now so pick a route any route whatever you want him to run he's going to do it and do it well and end up in the end zone this has really been fun to watch here we go now as we get set for a big two-point conversion. The Bills are lining up for a two-point conversion. They'll try and throw for it. And he's got it. The conversion good, and we are tied in the fourth. Still time to work with on the clock, but they wanted the tie now, and they got it. And I love their aggressiveness. Go ahead and get it done. Get the game tied. Now your team has the momentum, and you're staring across the field saying, let's see if you can match us. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. And a nifty return there all the way across the 40. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They no longer have the lead after that last touchdown. All tied up in the fourth quarter. And a chance for this offense to mount a potential game-winning drive right here. So five yards here, five on the play. And that will bring up second down. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game. And it can be if that pass is completed. Because you hit a guy on the run like that, you often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 
It's a first down, and he's also over 190 receiving yards now. What a game. And partner in a tie game in the fourth quarter, you and I both know in the NFL, that's when you lean on your stars, and he came through with a nice catch right there. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They'll send a receiver here in motion right. And he'll get it here on the jet sweep. Oh, and this one it may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. Ed Oliver through the line and hitting him for the loss. But that's the danger, Charles, of running plays like this for your wide receiver. They can hit big or they can be duds. Yeah, you're exactly right about that because if they're forced to try and go around defenders behind the line of scrimmage, sometimes you can give yardage in order to gain it. But in this case, they gave yardage and didn't get it back. The throw out wide going to be incomplete. The coverage was good, but I just wonder if they absolutely fooled the quarterback on that play. I think he was expecting something else. Ended up with nowhere to throw the football successfully. Big third down. A field goal from this spot, 57 yards, as they hope to move it a little closer. Prescott. And oh, that's going to wind up incomplete. Nearly their first pick of the game, but it does bring up fourth down. He's lucky to be getting that one back. After what they've done with him all day long with all the targets trying to go after him, he's obviously gotten smart, and his pride has kicked in. Made a terrific play. And this is good from 57 yards out. That was bombs away right there. And they have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. You talk about a big kick under pressure in the fourth quarter. I mean, that wasn't like a 33-yarder. That was long distance. Not only does it show the faith that they have in him, but also remember, if they would missed that one, they're giving up the ball near midfield. So they had to be very confident that he was going to put that one through the post. So after the made field goal, back out is Aubrey to kick this away. Oh, a good-looking return set up here. And they'll have very good starting field position as he's up just shy of the 40. ready to go for their next drive and now they find themselves trailing following the field goal still a good amount of time in this fourth quarter but this drive very well could determine the outcome of this ball game and he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds first play of the drive going for 14 and a first down it looked like almost a miscommunication defensively because once he decided to keep it he had pretty smooth sailing yeah, it became a question of, wait a minute, who's got the quarterback? And when you talk about miscommunication, it's supposed to be called assignment football on the defensive side of the ball. But the assignment gets mixed up. That's the end result. And he picks up about six as he gets this down to the 41. That was a good forceful run, and it demonstrates why you've got to put your body on a runner when you're trying to tackle him. If you just go in there and just try and get him down with arm tackles, usually doesn't work very well and we saw in that play he'll run right through those attempted plays another tote for the workhorse this afternoon it's cook and he'll go down here at the 35 yard line 90 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long another carry for their leader and a good one it's crunch time they'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch victory And now they'll throw with Allen. His throw incomplete. Offense is moving a little bit, have him back on their heels, but they're in a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. 
to the air. Allen over the middle, complete to Samuel. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Nothing flashy there, the slant to the slot. Earn the frustration for the defensive guys, because it's a quick play, and you know it's going to be a bang-bang play in terms of the throw and the catch, and then he's able to absorb the contact and complete it. And if you're thinking field goal from here, it's 48 yards. I think they'd like to get him a little help now on third down and move it closer. That is caught. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as... I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown, and that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. They'll run with Cook. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop him right around the one. They give him five that time as they draw a bit closer here for a second and goal. That's a great run right there on first down. Didn't quite get into the end zone. But now you've set yourself up for at least two, maybe three more shots from close range. Again, it's Cook. And good work there defensively as they're able to keep him out of the end zone. It's a loss of two, now third down. And now third and goal coming up, the loss on second down. That just means this crowd's going to get even louder. And they'll get a little bit of extra help from the defenders as they exhort them to join them in the effort. Cook. And this is going to depend on the spot, but I believe he might be a few inches short. It'll be called a gain of two, and that'll leave him with some options here on fourth and inches. Well, obviously, you can take the field goal here and tie it, or you can be gutsy. What are you doing? Oh, man, come on. Let's be gutsy. Let's go get it, because to me, after this drive in this spot, a field goal feels like a disappointment. Go get it, go get it done, and let your team know you're with them. The kick by Bass is good, and the Bills have tied the game here in the fourth. I tell you, the life of a kicker. He has not been called on the entire game. He's over there by the net, but they send him out here in the fourth quarter and say, hey, go tie the game, will you? And guess what? He comes through. I just don't know how they do it. I really don't. These cats are a different breed from you and me. That's a pressure kick, but that one was never in doubt. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And we essentially have a brand new ball game. After that last field goal has tied us all up, we brace for what should be an exciting rest of this fourth quarter. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Great way to start the drive. 20 big ones and a first down. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. They go back to Alley. He's been busy. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. From the 43, here's second down and seven. They'll try to sweep with Alia. And now they're going to get him down right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. 
They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL, and he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time to make sure you get in shape. And he's going to be out of bounds down around the 35-yard line. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. A first down carry by Elliott. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. A loss of two brings up second and 12 at the Bills' 37 yard line. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They've got a second down now as they search for a score to break this tie. On second down, Elliott once more. Breaks oh. through the contact. And he will finally be tracked down at the Bills' <laughs> seven-yard line. Well, I guess at the very least, they got the tackle from keeping him out of the end zone. Yeah, you're looking for that silver lining, aren't you? But guess what? Everything changes now after that big play. They've got a chance to strike. Here's first and goal. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. Still first down. Still first down. The delay of game, a costly one, as they're backed up five for first and goal. A 20th carry here for Elliott. Down to the six-yard line on a pickup of six as he gets halfway to the goal line. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. get their first dub, man. They go to Elliott again. They got the wrong for And a good display of footwork will only get him just out. inside the five to the four. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with 65 seconds remaining. This is third and goal. Elliott. The Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. So a big one coming here for Brandon Aubrey. This for the lead in the final stages. <laughs> And this one is right through. And the sideline celebrates as they have taken the lead in the final minute. All right, so time to reset here. It's a huge kick there. Gives them the lead, but they've got to be careful that their celebrations aren't a little too premature. You're exactly right about that because there still is time for the other guys to run a few plays and get into field goal position. So this defense is going to need to come up with one final stop. They're going to get out of here with a victory. So after the made field goal, back out is Aubrey to kick this away. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. And a good return, able to get out across the 35 to the 36.
<laughs> this is first and ten. <laughs> to throw is Allen. Oh. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Under 50 seconds to play. Here's second and 10. Now Allen. And this throw incomplete. Oh. The defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. So back to back incompletions now, third and 10. And first things first, before you think about marching the ball down the field, you got to move the chains. You're exactly right. You got to get back into focus here. <laughs> first down. That's what's vital to them. Throwing Allen. And that is incomplete. <laughs> With that incompletion, reality is staring them right in the face. This entire game is down to the next snap. Allen, maybe with a free play. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll have it past midfield. All Before being Offside. taken down. Defense. So, of course, they declined that there. They knew they had the free play. They got great yardage out of it. It's kind of like when we were dinner last night. You saw me reach for the check, so you ordered dessert on top of it, right? <laughs> you said you had the free play. Yeah. Right? Already have what you needed. Go ahead and get a little more on top. I like it. Final minute. No timeouts at their disposal. Here's first and ten. Allen. Oh, what a heck of an effort there as he'll make the diving catch. And with that last completion, folks, he now owns the NFL record for most passing yards in a single game. They'll come up first and ten here. Here's Allen. Right back to Cooper, and he got him again. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. Yeah. It's over. Well, this fan base on the losing side, Charles, they're going to be talking about this one for a while. They ultimately decided to try to come up with a touchdown on that last play when all they needed was the field goal to force overtime. Yeah, and the reasoning behind it, that's what we're all waiting to hear because sometimes there's things that we don't see on the surface. Did the coach feel like, you know, if he, if he tied the game, they couldn't go any farther, they had too many injuries? I'm not sure what was going on there, but I'm with you. I'm stunned they didn't try and kick the field goal there. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gunn. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. It's a win for the Cowboys as we sign off and say so long from Arlington.